Our next guests get paid for watching movies, but not just for entertainment. The state of Maryland is the only state in the United States having a board that passes on every film that is shown in the state of Maryland. And these next two ladies are members of the board. And ladies and gentlemen, from the Maryland State Board of Motion Picture Censors, Mrs. Marjorie Shriver and Mrs. Mary Avera. Welcome. Them. Censure is a dirty word, and we don't want these people really to think that we alone censure movie or the other. We, there are three members because it's not true. We don't do this. She will explain it all because she is the type that doesn't get excited. See, I being Italian, like my brothers here, they're excitable, you know. So she's such. She has that finesse. So I. It works out beautifully that way. She could explain it, and then I could argue. <laughs> and you say? You want me to go into this? It's, uh, 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 it's very important to me uh, since I'm in that business. Sure. And I think it's very important to the people All watching right. since they're in the business of going to keep people like us in the business. Do you produce dirty movies? <laughs> a, a, you would have to first define a dirty movie. All right. I'll tell right, it to you we'll in American, then I could tell it to you in Italian, too. It's better that you're... Can you understand it? Are you Italian? going to speak in American? Because I no, never heard I'm the American language these... spoken. I didn't know there was such no, a thing. No, I'm not an American. I'm an Italian. Like, I'm descent from the Italian people. Okay. I was born here. But if there's a few words that I could use in Italian, you and I could get together about that with our buddy over there. No, I want to do it for the public. I want everybody to be oh, part of that. Are, that's a good question. What, what, do you ladies, what, is a dirty what do you ladies consider obscene? Uh, we judge by the Ralph Alberts decision, which uh, set up a criteria that's a three-pronged test. In the do you ever recommend deletions when you see a picture that is uh, not entirely to you, up to your standards, mm -hmm. but just a scene or two? Do you ever recommend yes, things like that, Yes, we recommend, and uh, major companies here recently have accepted them. Of course, we can't name any films, which wouldn't be proper for the film industry. Recently, the distributors themselves have brought in such films that they sit there and wait, and then before the film's over, they have already just cut it off. They don't want to see no more. Really? Positively. It's, called, it's, called, it's called fear. No. It's called. No, it isn't. It has to be. Yeah, no, because the pictures that let we me ask see. You, please, forgive me. Let me ask you a key question. Two people are invited to represent, evidently, the state of Maryland as an appointment of the governor uh, three. of the state. Three. 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 Forgive me. But three people are invited expressly to watch some, some individual's um, concept of a creative work. No matter how horrendous one may think of it, that some individual put it together to be defined or to be seen by other human beings. Three individuals, in all deference to the two sitting here and the one I don't know. No, you didn't let me finish, hon. Look, I'm baby, okay. you're a little boy and let me finish. Then, <laughs> to me he is, I'm 60 years old. I'm and I'm boy. not a prude, and I have sons older than you. Well, then, it, it's not up to us. Then we have experts. We pay them $25 per hour that have been accepted by the Court of Appeals as experts. I mean, yeah. people who have, who, well, to me, uh, I feel being a mother, I'm just as much an expert as they are, but the Court of Appeals don't feel that way. They then look at the picture, too, and then they advise us as well. Uh, along with the Attorney General's office. You're, you're talking about an advice based on the legality or, or the strength of your position once you go in, because obviously you're not going, if you have severe doubts about whether there is a legal problem going to arise from your decision, you sit in a caucus, in a conference, and you decide that you, you, it maybe wasn't that bad. But when you are convinced that it is something that is going to go to the courts and win for your side, for your particular uh, point of view, then you go ahead and, and, and uh, uh, hire these people or get these experts, quote unquote, mm -hmm. into, into view the film as well. Mm -hmm. How many experts are there? Four, five, six? It all depends on which ones we use. All we right. keep a panel of okay. experts. Let us say there was uh, a total of ten people, three lovely ladies and the other seven individuals. Now, those ten people sat in a, in a, in a room and watched this, quote unquote, terribly horrendous, obscene thing on a screen you know, and then came out and determined for the rest of the state of Maryland whether, whether the rest of the state should no, see it. No, we don't. You don't get the calls we get in our office. We could get, uh, get called everything but our names. 
Many times I'll pick up the phone and I'll say, I certainly will tell the board member, and she's cussing me from one end to the other. I was and just you thinking. see the mail that we get. I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny if we had to delete something from this interview? <laughs> <laughs> We're not, we'll be right we'll back with these two lovely ladies. And uh, you'd be surprised, and it isn't the adults. I mean, this is for the youngsters. I mean, this is not the way of life. Now, I may not be referring to the same type of films you are. The type of films that I see, listen, my mother had 18 children. I hate to be repeating this on every program. There was sex, you know that. But I never saw my mother touch my father in a disrespectful way or talk to my mother filthy and use that language or do the things that I see in the news. And my mother, we're all decent, respectable children and each one of us, were, um, all my children are married. They are the youth of maybe yesterday. Their children will be the youth of tomorrow. And I, they feel the same way as I do. And they say, Ma, we can't even take our children to a movie. It's the children. That's what the people are complaining about. Well, Not the adults. Man. I'm glad to hear that strong applause was something that I agree with. I feel, however, that every one of those parents, myself included, as a parent of an eight-and-a-half-year-old boy, should be the sole and only determinant of what my child sees. And forgive me, but if I were a resident of the state of Maryland, in all deference again to the three ladies who are performing this duty on behalf of the good citizens of the sovereign state of, et cetera, et cetera, I would resent the fact that I would have to go out of the state in order to, to determine whether my son would be able to see a film if, in fact, the next step of your particular program came to be that you scared away or intimidated a distributor from showing that film in your state. Now, my son will see what I want him to see based on my judgment. Aren't your children lucky they have a father? That's right. Oh. Are you? Are you? Do that? Don't, or if they well, now, would too. you applaud that audience? Would you? Would you, would you would. That's exactly the point I'm trying to make. They wish to be the determinants. I wish to be the determinants. I don't want anybody imposing his and or her if co collective and or individual will and, and opinion on my child's, uh, on, on, on the area of things that my child may witness and see. Bobby, there is one thing you forget. Yes, please tell me. I think that not everybody has the mentality of yours or the education to judge. Uh, it's not a question and of... These a, ladies are, are judging... These ladies are as intelligent judge. as anybody can possibly be because they're, all, they're, ask, they're being asked to look at something that is very graphic and very visual and very uh, uh, auditory. It's right there. Those dimensions we work with, the eyes and the ears. But not everybody Forgive look me. at them the same way. That's, that's exactly why there should be no, self no other than self-imposed censorship. If you like what you saw and you want to recommend it to your child, that's marvelous. No, oh. no, no. I, I, you lost, Bob. I want to tell you something, Bobby. Wait Are minute, you I really just... Italian? You can't possibly be. Now, what, what does that have to do? For the simple reason that What does that, that have Italian to do with 1970? Does, I don't care if it's uh, 1980. The Italian people don't teach their children your way. What A lot of other nationalities You mean they don't teach them? Yeah. No, Bobby. I'm very sorry. You mean, I don't you mean they don't, don't teach them freedom? Is that no. what you're saying? Oh, we have freedom. Don't you have freedom? I'm questioning Look, my right daughter -in -law, now. One of my daughter-in-law's Irish, she said, oh, I just think it's great that you're going on with that Bobby Derrick. I think he's too much. What does that have to do with the price well, of eggs? Well, because she probably right now is going to change her opinion of you. Ah. <laughs> That's and I'll tell you another That's thing. Marvelous. We're getting from one subject to another. When you start showing all these films and all, you know nobody's going to change me. I don't change that easy, and I've been on a board exactly. 10 years. I'm a mother. I'm a just as qualified as anybody who's got an education degree and what else. But I'm going to protect youngsters if that's the last thing I do if I live 20 more years. I want to thank Marjorie Schrader and Mrs. Mary Avera. Thank you very much.